And welcome back to Kangadia's Quest. Okay, so I definitely saw that going this way. And if you remember from last time, I am lost. I saw a, ga a ghast, started coming after it. And subsequently lost my way. I did... Are you kidding me? <laughs> yeah, that's what you get. Trying to shoot me through that little thing. And we got more gunpowder. Huh, well, I might as well. Assuming I survive this. fortune pick. Hmm. Interesting, I'm getting some lighting glitch. Oh, I only have dirt. I'm getting some lighting glitch off of the glowstone shards. That stream of lava over there looks kind of familiar. So I think I might head towards that. Got two stacks of glowstone. Nice. Oh, excellent. Thank you. Whew. Fortunately, I was not that far away from my area, but oh, I better not, not click my pick too close to these guys. But as uh, anyone who's ever been lost in the forest knows, you could be close to your camp and never know it. Hang on, what train you're, you're in. Actually, you know, I, I was lost in the woods once. I was, I think I was around 12, and uh, believe it or not, it was, at, it was at a summer camp. I'm, I'm not exactly the most physically fit guy, and I wasn't when I was a kid either. So I kind of fell behind when my group was camping, I uh, was sorry, not camping, was hiking through the woods in this uh, day camp. And I got separated, and I couldn't see him anymore. So I took a turn, and I ended up at a construction site. Um, I don't know how long it was, but it was pretty far away. And fortunately, one of the uh, one of the construction workers gave me a ride back to the camp. But uh, I think my, my parents were there. We go first guest here. Now, I actually have to look up what you use these things for because I can't remember. And I'm actually almost full, so I don't know what else I get here. But so yeah, that was a, that was a bit of an adventure. And for me, I didn't think anything special of it because I just I don't remember getting lost was you no, know, it was kind of fun. I didn't, I didn't feel that I was in danger at all. I just felt like it was another adventure. And it was. Okay, now, I'm just curious. This is this, yeah, this is that. But, get ready to run. Okay, so, is updating. I'm always nervous when I see... Yeah, this is the, this is a layer of soul sand. I really don't like being on top of soul sand when it's on top of lava. Okay, now I'm gonna do. I'm gonna put a couple torches right here. So I can see better. I'm not, I'm not gonna like make a base here exactly. But I gotta figure out some kind of system for exploring the nether because I don't do extensive nether exploration normally. 
without a mini map in, in modded gameplay. So I gotta figure something out. Um, I remember I was on a, a multiplayer server, and what they did in that was they basically had, um, how do I put it? Uh, they, they built these uh, pathways. I think they're either really for horses. Well, they could have been for horses, and they just went all over the place. Okay, for those of you who saw that in, who saw that in a previous episode, uh, feel free to yell at me because I just missed a friggin' Nether fortress right next to our uh, our base camp. Okay, so hold on, I'm gonna drop all this mushroom, take some more Nether rack. I don't particularly want to go over there with just a nether rack bridge. I think that is just a recipe for disaster. Some of the most dangerous things I've ever done in Minecraft involve placing blocks above lava in the nether. <coughs> Excuse me. So it looks like it's partially connected over there. Let's see where I can go. Okay, I'm gonna try it and just make a just cut a path down to that. That might help out. Okay, simple enough. Still have the acacia saplings we picked up. Okay, so I think it's pretty clear what we, is that my imagination or is that, no, that is a f my first wither skeleton. I wonder if I could, uh... <sighs> okay, let's do it, let's do this. This could be a really, really bad idea. Okay, I'm going to make a nether rack. Oh, it was that close? It's hard to tell distance in this thing. Okay, so normally I wouldn't even have gone that far, but this is this is a hop, skip, and a jump. And I really would like to have made this out of cobblestone just for Safety sake. Now I'm kind of one thing I want to look up when I get a chance is the spawning rules for fortresses. I think if you if you place down torches, it messes with the spawn rate. So that is, I believe, yeah, I think that's a yep coming at me. My guys, come right for us. Okay, so I'm hitting him with my fortune pick. And I'm hoping it'll have the same effect as if I was using a fortune sword. A looting sword. I don't think it works actually. So but I'm gonna try it anyway. Wow, I can't see anything. I've got the brightness of fifty percent, and I honestly can't tell if there actually is a skull on the ground. Nope, I don't think there is. Okay, but this is a good find, and there's a blaze. So, I mean, there might be a blaze spawner over that way. Okay, but I have no space left in my inventory. Okay, you know what? I'm coming back here, because this is, this, this, you know, this is, you know, this is, this is good television. So, I'm going to head back to base, drop off the stuff, get more inventory space for myself, and I will be right back. And I'm back. Okay, so as you can see, I um, got rid of most of my inventory, so I got more space. I probably should left the compass behind because it's actually useless here as it's a clock. But I wasn't expecting to bring back a lot of material like that. Um, I did, however, uh, decide to, or not the smartest city in the world, use some of my levels in, in hopes of getting a looting sword. And I got what I believe is quite possibly the worst sword I've ever gotten in Minecraft. Knockback 1, Bane of Arthropods 2. Piece of crap. I mean... Eh. Ugh. 
But I'm gonna use it, and maybe I can, you know, find some chickens or spiders to kill. Huh, that guy can see me. Hmm. I gotta take him out. Not a good angle for me to... What? Yeah. Ah, oh, well. Bye-bye. Okay, so let's see what we can find in there. Um, I am now po I'm positive that uh, Fortune Pick does absolutely nothing for getting Wither Skulls. That is only looting. But I'm still going to try. And hopefully I'll get one or two. Okay, you know what? I can't, I can't take it. Um... I gotta switch this to something. Here we go. I gotta go bright because um, it, it's gotta be where I'm, where I'm sitting, where I'm recording from. Uh, there we go. Sorry, I could not see the brick. It was that dark. What's mm, my? That is a spawner. And that is... Okay, there's another one. Come on, come on, little guy, don't fall off. Damn. That wasn't smart of me. Got blaze rod. Cool. So keep going. That gas is really annoying me. Not so much. Oh, hello. We're doing pretty good in terms of actually finding wither skeletons. Not really optimistic about. It. Ow. Okay, I gotta knock that down. Come and get me. Oh, withered. No luck. get me. I'm not going to you. You gotta come to me. Ah! It's always the third one that gets me. Okay, let's keep exploring and see if we can find chests or... Yep. Nice. Okay, so it's chest number one. Woohoo! Two different things of armor. Very nice. And I always like to, to take the. I don't bring I mean, actually, I will. I always like to take the chest with me so I know that I, I pick it up. So the next time I come through, I'm like, oh man, it's a chest. Like, oh, I already got the chest. Okay, so. I'm going to put a torch here. Again, I don't know what enough about the spawning rules, so I'm not going to light this place up. Because uh, I plan on coming back here and farming for uh, wither skeletons. Okay. Hey there, little guy. Oh, two of you. Come and get me. Aimbot. The heck? 
heck is that? Took the little bit of glitch in the design. And head over. Ah! I'm on fire again. I don't even want to speculate on the damage. I got. I, I got. Okay. Okay. Let me go up this way. Uh, okay. Um, my head and boots are pretty badly damaged, but not terrible. Hello. Hey, thanks for welcoming me here. Can I have your head, please? Please? No, he didn't give me any head. He wasn't very nice. Okay. Even with brightness, I have very difficult trouble. I have a difficult time seeing in this. It's not just that I have glasses. I think it's... Okay, I'm going to put one here. Well, no. Because that one is pretty obvious. And that one... And the, okay, so it looks like this little tower doesn't really go anywhere. Well, I do appreciate the fire. So let's go downstairs. I think yeah. Okay, so let's, let's, let's head back downstairs. Let's see what else we can find. Oh, there's some experience orbs. Mm -hmm. Come on, okay, come closer. Okay, note to self, you cannot parry a blaze fireball. Yeah, I think this is where, this is where I was before with the lava pool. Yeah, my difficulty to see in the dark is magnified by this place. And of course I didn't bring any building materials with me. Not smart. But I'm hoping to find a room with some uh, nether wart. Because if you remember, one of the things I definitely want to do on my list is get a brewing station. I would like to get some potions. Before I go up against the Ender Dragon. Okay, so this one dead ends. Surprised I haven't seen any magma cubes yet. Could go for some magma cream. And I use up most of my slime to make those, um. What is this? It's a little weird. I think I'll improve the decor a little bit. I'm gonna remove this little pillar. Get some nether, some nether brick. More material for my... Do you see what I see? I think you do, because I see it. If I see it, you definitely see it. There is another another wart right over there. Excellent. So I do have, I think I've got half a stack of soul sand back at my base. I am gonna take I can avoid punching this guy. All oh, another. I can has. I can has another ward. So let's head back up here. Ooh, chest. Nice. Number two. 
Got more armor and two more saddles. Excellent. I'm glad about that. Alright, so this den's over here. It's a baby pigman! Look at him! And a wither skeleton. Look at the real guy! Oh, he's gonna go off the edge. No, he's not. He lives, he's a he's a he's a pig man parkour master. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. You know, I I remember I was watching um, a, a weekly news show about uh, about Minecraft, and it was saying that they they came out with uh, a new mob called a chicken jockey. But I think it only, I think it only refers to zombie baby zombies, not uh, baby zombie pigmen. Oh, it makes sense because chickens don't spawn in the Nether. Ooh, number three. Okay, let's see what we got this time. More golden horse armor. That is excellent. Huh, that's a regular that's a regular skeleton. Oh, he's off the edge. I think. Okay, that guy's over there. Those guys are over there. And neither of them are tracking me right now, but this guy's about to start tracking me. And his two friends. Okay, I gotta make sure I hit these guys, but not so close. Because their friend's about to see me. Oh, no, he didn't. Uh, yeah, still no, no skulls. But I didn't really expect it. You really... I mean, the drop rate in those skulls is so freaking low. I'm going to try and grab aggro, aggro him without aggroing the blaze behind him. Yep, I got it. I say I love that you can now pick up your your uh, your unused arrows. Okay, I'm going to seal this, and my experience with this has never been that great because is the spawn radius for these things is actually very far. Yep, I heard him. I heard you. I heard you, you son of a neckbone. some torches here. They're still going to spawn underneath it, which is unfortunate, but makes it a little bit safer. And I may go back, come back and make a uh, a little mob grinder for that. Although, to be honest, I think the ender ender is going to be more, more uh, easy to come by than a, a blaze farm. So. Is there a way I can get up there? Because I didn't see one. Hmm. Hello. got about a five second recharge time after they hit their third uh, fireball. That's when I hit him. Oh, uh, when you see a blaze, you gotta hit him with a magma cube. Hello, little guy. Uh, 
Okay, and I got my fourth chest, and this is going to have to be it, because I am out of space. Another zombie, another baby zombie pig man. I'll have to come back here for another, another round. Nice, more golden, more armor for my horses. I don't, I don't need much. I don't need that. There's a lot of nether wart. Mine. I think, yeah, I'm pretty sure I have enough. I, I'm not gonna. I'm probably not gonna put down more than 20 nether wart at a time. I think I've got like 20 soul sand back at the base. Okay, so there definitely is a gas track in me somewhere. But I am... I found number five. Oh boy. Okay. Leave that. That, that. I might as well take it. it it's free. It's free material. I'm gonna... You know, I'm, I'm gonna leave the chest behind. And I'm also going to leave... The... Uh, the coal, yeah. Okay, so I'm probably gonna come, I'm gonna come back. And I'm gonna find that again, and I'll be like, "Why is this chest here?" I was like, "Oh, I was here, but I didn't have room to pick it up." All right, so we're gonna head back to the portal if we can find it. Wonder, yeah. You know, I, I mean, I know the. Actually, I'm not sure about that. I wonder. I'm not sure how. The coordinate system works in the, in the Nether because I know that they know there's some kind of, of difference between overworld coordinates and Nether coordinates, and I know and I know that because I if you, I know if you want to uh, transport yourself long distances, you want to transport yourself long long distances. One of the best ways to do it is to go into the Nether and make whoa. Okay. Come closer. Okay, I gotta check this because I have no way of knowing. Mm, no. Okay, um, so that happened. Okay, let's recover. Well, on the positive side, I ended up here. Which is odd, because I thought I spent my last night's sleep in the village. Hmm. Alright, so let's go back and find our stuff. Unfortunately, it wasn't near the lava or anything. I just, you know, I didn't realize I was that belly damaged from the, from the wither. I'm pretty far into into the the fortress, though. Let's see if we can do the impossible and <clears throat> not die while trying to recover our stuff in another fortress. Okay, now I was fairly high up, I think. Take a right. Nope, wrong way. And there's a wither skeleton over there. Oh, 
Good sign. Very good sign. I think I'm close. I think it was the other way. Yeah. So I think I think I was gonna pick up this stuff, and I didn't yet. Yep, there I am. Excellent. Nice recovery. Uh, I see there's a thing over there. Okay, did I... No, I have all my stacks, so I don't think I lost anything. Okay, so let's get out of here. Steak. I think I, think, I think I saw a wizard skeleton on the way out, so I may have to deal with him. Hmm. You know, it just occurred to me, I don't really know which way is out. I mean, I got back in here. Where is it? Oh, nope, oh, don't want to be out there. Okay, basically I need to find that um, blaze spawner because it was fairly close to that. Go into the nether, gonna find a lot of nether ward. Go into the nether, gonna find a lot of nether ward. Another war comes from the fortress, it was put there by I don't know what In a factory somewhere And if I had my way, I'd get another war every day So I wouldn't have to come back to this damn place Go into the nether, gonna find a lot of another ward Go into the nether, gonna find a lot of another ward Hey little guy No, no memory, no memory cream for me. Oh, that's the wrong, that's the wrong way. Okay. So it's not that way. I see. He hit his fireball that time. But that guy behind me is gonna kill me. Cole, just Cole. Okay, I do not see. There we go. Okay, we're out. We're out. Whew. Well, I only died once, so I'd say that was a fairly rewarding trip into the nether. Hi, oh, look at we are zombie pig man, baby. Hello. You're gonna grow up and be a big stupid one, aren't you? Hello. Oh, what the? Nah, oh, he's too far away. I'm not gonna bother with him. Ow! Howie. Oh crap. Come on, where's my stuff? Where is it? Oh. Fire your fireballs, it's time to run. Blow me away. Okay, and I think we're definitely uh, at or approaching the half hour mark. So uh, this has been Kankadia for Kankadia's Quest. 
And uh, we certainly got a lot, lot done today. I'm going to put the stuff back into where it belongs as the sun sets. So um, I'll see you all later. <laughs>